say that to travel continually in the vastness of Australia, you've got to fly. But for pastoral consultant John Coy, that theory lost its appeal years ago. Since 1982, when John discovered the Subaru Brumby, he's travelled further than most Australians will go in a lifetime. And he's still driving Brumbies. rural Australia, thousands of people know John Coy. His work takes him to places which don't even rate dots on the map, and where covering 5,000 kilometres in a week is just part of the job. With my job, I can be in Western Victoria one week, North Queensland the next, and cover a lot of distance in between. I used to fly my own aircraft but after I nearly shook three of them to bits, I knew there had to be a better way. I'd considered four-wheel drives before and driven plenty, but with the distances I travel and the rough ride they gave, I knew I'd need to take a chiropractor everywhere I went. Then I drove a Brumby. At first I wasn't convinced that it would cope with the job. It drove like a car, the seats were comfortable and it was quiet. It was the first four-wheel drive I'd really enjoyed being in. When you need traction from all four wheels, you just lift the lever. No need to stop, no hubs to lock in, just one movement and that's it. Move the lever another notch for low range and you can go just about anywhere. They use this road for part of the wind safari. I use it as a shortcut. Even when you get where you're going, the Brumby's versatile nature can come in handy. I just don't use the Brummie to enjoy the countryside. When you're home, there's still no time off. There's fences and sheep to check, horses to feed. Flaming hundreds of them. The Brumby was named after a horse, so why not use it as one?
Now that's something else about a Brumby. Most four-wheel drives use fuel as though they were bulldozers. These things would make a fuel agent cry. They've got a 1.8 litre motor, and like the rest of the vehicle, it's built to last. This engine's done over 350,000 k, with no problems, and it's still going strong. Still hardly using any oil, but like Subarus, they don't use much of anything. Brumbies are handy when you haven't got a tractor about. I had a mate who had a bigger four-wheel drive. I pulled him out of a bog half a dozen times in one day. He cured that though. He bought a Brumby. Like most of Australia's Subaru Brumby owners, John Coy wants a vehicle which is reliable, easy to maintain and not expensive to buy. No one appreciates those criteria better than Subaru. The Brumby is Australia's best value small utility and is backed by 170 dealers and service agents throughout Australia. No matter how or where you use it, the Brumby is covered by Subaru's two-year 50,000 kilometre warranty and a big reputation. I guess owning a Brumby has become part of my life. It's a vehicle which fits in so well with everything I do. And I know that whenever and wherever I want to go, it's just a matter of turning the key and we're away. That's the only definition of reliability that interests me. you can get a four-wheel drive station wagon. A really good family car and a workhorse all rolled into one. They're all tough and they're all great value. People I know say I'm a bit one-eyed when it comes to cars, but a million kilometres tells you a lot about a vehicle. And it wouldn't be fair to keep what we know about Brumbies a secret. Now would it? <laughs> 